Crew 9 just minutes away from splashing down. This is really such an incredible shot. Uh, that Coffee, was 600. located in the Gulf of America um, off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. And splash down, Crew 9 back on Earth. the main parachutes were stored. So when we saw the Dragon capsule docked at station, it looked very different. Um, that the, the, the panel that protects and covers the main parachutes, that was uh, still intact as well as the panels that enclose where the drogue parachutes are located. We can see those fast Freedom. boats. Freedom, SpaceX is go. Freedom, Scotty, loud and clear. Thanks, Nick. We've got you loud and clear as well. We have completed our forward link transition. To the coast of Florida, and then eventually um, they'll, they'll fly back to Houston. Just underneath that helicopter pad is that translation deck uh, where we will see the nest once it is loaded up with... some final adjustments and tweaks to ensure that it's nice and secure. Uh, they had an on-time splashdown at 5.57 p.m. Eastern Time, 2.57 p.m. Pacific Time. We can see that the spacecraft... Freedom, translation is in progress. Copy and seal it. We can see that spacecraft was successfully recovered from the ocean surface and is now being uh, washed with fresh water as obviously they splashed out. And there you have it. The side hatch is open for the first time since September. Those of you that have just recently joined, the Dragon had an on-time splashdown. Oh, it looks like we're getting our next crew member here. That is none other than Sonny Williams. Big smile, big waves. She, like her other crew members, now uh, will be assisted onto the mobility aid. We have it some waves, some thumbs up, and some smiles. Definitely seems to be a theme among all recovery operations. Absolutely. And of course, that leaves NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore inside Dragon in seat four. We're getting some views of him now as he egresses or exits the spacecraft. 